We're Wendell Executive Director of Texas Watch. We are strongly in favor of House Bill 3960, the, uh, the dessert plan, Chairman Hunter. <laughs> and the reason why, Mr. Chairman, is coastal policyholders, and I do not have to tell you this, sir, are, they've been squeezed. They've been bled dry. We have reached an inflection point here with TWIA. We've reached the breaking point. There was an article, uh, March 25th, 2018, out of the Victoria Advocate entitled Frustrated Gulf Coast Homeowners Call for End to TWIA. Uh, I share their frustrations and I share their call. You've asked for solutions. You've asked for solutions, Chairman Hunter. Let's talk solutions. Here's how you fix this. Because as long as we keep treating the coast differently, as long as we keep treating the, co the coast as second-class citizens, as a ghetto, if you will, we're going to end up in this place, just as we have been for as long as I've been doing this and for as long as Chairman Hunter's been doing this. So the fundamental purpose of insurance is to pool and spread risk and to transfer risk. Insurance is a subsidy. That's the point. Those of us who don't suffer a loss in that year subsidize those who do. We have their back, and then when we have problems, they have our back. That's how this works. So you end TWIA. You fold this into the state base rate. You work on exposure along the coast through zoning, through mitigation. You harden structures. Uh, you help people harden those structures. That's going to cost money to do. And we don't treat the coast like they're somehow separate or apart or different. Because I grew up in Fort Worth. We get the worst hailstorms you've ever seen in Fort Worth. Yeah, you do. In West Texas, we get brush fires. Here in Central Texas, we get flash floods. This whole state, we suffer different risks. And there's no reason to treat the coast differently and to treat windstorm differently. We're one state, indivisible. So that's how you fix this you will get pushback from the for-profit insurance industry because if you read the insurance code, who are the members of TWIA? It's not the policyholders. The members of TWIA, statutorily, are the for-profit insurance companies. TWIA acts as a hedge against their risk. And to your point, Mr. Chairman, we've re reformed the funding structure to where the coastal policyholders pay first, second, and third again before we ever get to assessments. Premiums, CRTF, class one securities. So the for-profits get to sit back and watch that happen. And then we overbuy on reinsurance as well to further hedge their risk. I agree with the lady who, who said uh, you sell Insurance in Texas, you sell insurance in Texas. You don't get to cherry pick parts of the state. You don't get to cherry pick coverages. Uh, you're going to sell. You want to be chartered in this state. You want to do business in this state. That's how you do it. You sell the whole state, whole enchilada. And that way you take care of Brownsville, and you take care of Corpus Christi, and you take care of Galveston and Houston, and you take care of Beaumont and all points in between. That's how you fix this. It's a big deal. There will be significant pushback because the for-profits will have more skin in the game, but it's time. Happy to take questions. Thank you. Members, are there any questions? Thank you.